What is up, everybody? Welcome to our very first podcast. I'm here with Kevin. What's up, guys? And I feel like Kevin is the first special guest that we should bring. I feel honored. Well, you should be. You are the owner of Eliminate as well, and it's only right that we have Kevin on the podcast first. So some things to look forward to on this podcast is Kevin and I are looking to inspire. I know a lot of you guys don't know this, but we, I'd like to say we kind of came from nothing. You know, a lot of people don't see that. They see the nice cars we have, all of the fun, but what they don't know is what we put on our YouTube is what we want you to see, right? Right, right. Aside from everything, we work really hard you know, we're, we're having the most fun and, you know, it's all thanks to you guys. So Kevin, June, and I have been talking and we've been talking about this podcast for a little while and we were trying to figure out how can we do this podcast without feeling like, you know, it's not good enough or like, you know, we don't want the views to affect it. Right. You yeah. know, you know what I mean? We want to be honest. Yeah. So. We were, we were planning on doing like a membership type thing where if you really wanted to join and learn, we'd have you guys pay and join the membership but we've decided we want to offer it to you guys completely for free you guys as a whole community has made this happen for us so that's true without without you guys this would not happen exactly so that's why you know what <clears throat> instead of making money off of it which would be very nice to fund our projects you know what i mean but we also want to give back to you guys this is going to be completely free but we want to motivate you guys. I know you guys, some of you guys are still very young. You guys don't know what you want to do, but we want to be the guys that pave the way and show you and can teach you that you can also do this yourself. Yep. So through hard work and determination, Kevin, Jude, and I were able to push, but remember, this isn't for everyone. Running a business, doing YouTube, Damn it, mom! <laughs> Give me one sec, guys. I forgot we're in podcast mode. Hi, mom. I am doing a podcast. Can I talk to you later? Okay, bye. I love you. I'm with Kevin. Hello. Bye, mom. Bye. I don't know if you guys can hear that. This is our first time testing all of this out. So, you know, we apologize for any issues. But at the end of it all, back to what we were saying earlier. If we can at least change one life, I think that's going to be something that, you know, would mean a lot more. So I guess let's get right into it. I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I have a lot that I want to teach you guys. You guys are going to learn a lot about Kevin Jude and I. Yeah, I have a lot of of experience also to talk about it too. Yeah, so when you guys look at Eliminate, you guys see Eliminate. You guys see me as the face. Well... Behind the scenes, we are always working very hard. It's Kevin Jude, myself, Tony, and we just hired Mikey. So it's four of us. It's just four of us. So when we're getting thousands and thousands of orders, Tony is working his ass off. I'm working my ass off. Kevin's working his ass off. And it's actually a lot harder than you guys think it is. But you know what? I want to teach you guys, and I know that you guys can do it as well. Right? So today what we want to talk about is how did Eliminate start? Because a lot of you guys have asked that. Eliminate is not my first brand and to become successful I truly believe that you need to fail. Yeah. Not, not everybody is going to, you know, get everything first try, but the people that push through it are the ones that are going to be successful, It's right? crazy too cuz like we didn't really meet up in person to start the brand. We actually called each other. Oh, dude, from this like is a good very one. Far away. So and it was a random Phone call too. It wasn't like set up or anything. It was just like, you know what? Let's just call each other. Let's, I, in my head, at least, I I'm like, I'm just gonna call you or like you called me. I don't know which one who called. Yeah. But after that, somehow just everything just click, and then you know, next time you know we're here. Yeah. So all right, you guys, get ready. <laughs> Grab some popcorn. Uh, if you guys want to just throw in some headphones, this is a podcast. You don't have to really see everything, but you know, we'll try to make it interesting for you guys as much as and possible. You know what? If you guys take in some of the stuff that we say, you know, I guarantee you your life will change for the better. That's a fact. That's a fact. Before we get into the business, let me tell you guys a little bit about myself. I am a procrastinator. I am very lazy, but whenever I get something done, 
I always do it to the best of my ability the day before. If I have a homework assignment or anything done, it's always done the night before. Remember, school is not for everybody. And, you know, I don't believe school is the best option. And Kevin's still in school. He doesn't need to be in school. But you know what? That's something he wants to do for himself and for I his have family. My, I have, yeah, exactly. I have my personal reasons why. Exactly. It was kind of hard dropping out of school. But we can talk about that a little bit later. We kind of want to go more into how Eliminate started. So Kevin Jude was in the military for four years. And I started a clothing brand before with, you know, one of my buddies, Andrew. Things didn't work out that great. We were friends. Being friends in business is... Uh, so challenging it's very challenging right but if you have traits and qualities that you know work well together then you know who says that you can't you know be a successful business right Mm -hmm. so kevin jude and i we are pretty much opposites i am the crazy one i am the more fun my mind is everywhere kevin how would you describe yourself i'm more like in a serious side maybe because of like my military background and the way I was raised from with my parents but I mean don't get me wrong I could I could be fun if I needed to oh yeah we know <laughs> oh we know but most of the time I, I don't know I just like I just like being in that um serious uh vibe and just you know I like to um use my time wisely and keep moving forward as much as as I can mm-hmm, so. exactly and honestly like we work so well together we have this trust and you know, when you first start a business, the first two years, I guarantee you, you will be losing money. All of your money is going into it and whatnot. But, you know, let's let's take it a little bit back. Let's go into my first business that I brought up. Yeah. I actually started a business with Andrew. You guys know Andrew. We started, it's a clothing called True Entity. You know, we just got out of high school, started our business. And it was doing well. It was doing okay, but it catered to the wrong audience. And, you know, being a business owner, you should know what your audience wants. And, you know, and obviously, you want to do something that make that makes you happy. So it wasn't making me happy. It was catering to females. And, you know, long story short, things with Andrew and I didn't work out as well because we're not, you know, we didn't click. I would put in a lot of effort and Andrew would do efforts in different ways and it just didn't work out. But Kevin, Jude, and I, we joined forces. We took over True Entity. And I told Kevin, dude, we need to change the name, dude. For real. I'm not feeling it. We actually, we were actually still going to continue True Entity. But we decided to just some, somehow change it because for some reason. I just Like you said, you, were, you weren't different. feeling it right. Mm-hmm. You were just wanted to restart and then build from scratch again. Mm-hmm. And then next time you know... I remember you calling me from your work at SF Ballet, and you're like, hey, Kevin, we're going to drop True Entity. And I'm like, why? Because I got a better name for it. And then he said, what do you think? <laughs> How does eliminate sound? Yeah. But then, don't, don't say, like, I said it. I mean, we didn't make eliminate. the decision on the spot, mm-hmm. but I believe we'd make the decision uh, the, the day of or the next day, I believe. But, yeah, we let it sit down for a little bit. See how see how he feels the next day or a couple of hours, but somehow after that, me and you just decided to just like, fuck it, we're just gonna run with it, yeah. and then this sounds fine, and I we can just work our way up there from this. Yeah, and, and then uh, like, also running, crazy. also also doing a business, um, you know, you want the name to kind of roll off your tongue and sound correct. True That's entity true. didn't sound cool. It's true entity, too many T's. You know what I mean. And at first, eliminate didn't sound good, and it wasn't even a thing. It's something you Googled, and it wouldn't show up on the internet. But over a hard work and everything, it became something. So I think that's what I'm really most proud of. When we I know, and eliminate. at some point, everyone was calling it Illuminati. Oh, yes, man. that, oh that phase God, was so bro. funny. That phase was the worst. <coughs> In our early stages, we started Eliminate, and we had our cursive logo. We right, were very right. inspired by Illust. You know what yeah. I mean? I really love the word ill. I know. So, They're you a nice know. brand. Yeah, so shout out to Fat Lace. Shout out to Illust for that. That, you know, really inspired me and shaped Eliminate to become, you know, its own thing. So, but moving forward... Kevin, Jude, and I kept in contact. He was in the military for two years at this time. And I was doing valet part-time, saving up money. 
we started Eliminate with six hundred dollars, right? Six fifty, six fifty. Six fifty. I remember. All right, all right. Six fifty. <laughs> I think we started True Entity with two hundred dollars. But the I thing is, I PayPal you or just sent you the money. Yeah, Kevin <laughs> would would send me the money and I would do all the work. I would do all the shipping and everything. But you know, I don't want to try to bore you guys. If you guys think this is interesting, you know, let it let us know. It would motivate us to continue. Comment but, down below. Yeah, go comment down below. Um, let's see. I, it was hard. I worked full time. I, if you guys didn't know, I actually at this time when I turned eighteen. I took my little brother Henry to school every single morning. Henry didn't want to move out. My mom lives out of state. My dad lives out of state. So I would wake up every morning, 8 a.m., drive Henry to school, and 2 p.m. I would go pick Henry back up. So my schedule was full. So a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. I was working full time. I was in school full time as well. So at one point, I just kind of knew, you know, eliminate was, you know, money was kind of coming in, and we were, you know, doing. Uh, what is it? Oh, I wasn't doing YouTube just yet, but I had school and I knew. I mean, we have friends and family supporting us with our brand. No, that wasn't the case. So it may- maybe Kevin Jude got a little bit of that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I'm Vietnamese and my parents, they want me to be a nurse. They want me to be a doctor. Shout out to all of the Asians. You guys all know this. If you guys can relate, give this video a thumbs up. But just being... You know, an Asian in America, you know, our parents, you know, came on the boat. My parents actually came on a boat here. Shout out to all the fobs out there. But I don't know, um, you know, they all live hard lives and they want us to be very successful. So when you take school out of the equation, oh, that's a big no-no. My aunt, especially in the Asian family, Oh, my aunt would, I would not hear the end of it. Randy, you need to go back to school, blah, 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 you know what I mean? And then my mom, she was devastated. My dad, he's okay. He's, you know, he still wanted me to go to school. But I knew that I was working full time. I was taking care of Henry full time. I was literally Henry's parent. And also working full time, I had to give something up. So during this time, I dropped out of school. I made a decision. It was probably one of the hardest decisions and you know scariest decisions because you without school you know there's a chance that I wouldn't be successful and that's something that I hold very dear to you know I want my parents to be proud of me uh I don't know it's just it's just who I am personally and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can relate with this but I knew that I had a plan if I wanted to do something I had to be 100% exactly everyone's different you know Mm-hmm. And then as long as you know yourself and then you know what you want and what you want to do with it, I mean, I'd, I'd say chase it, you know what I mean? If I can tell myself, like, you know, if I can tell my past self, like, one thing, I would say to believe in myself sooner because that was the turning point for me. After I started believing in myself and putting in it, and putting it out into the world that I wanted this and that I needed this, things started coming. It's called law of attraction. What you put out there is what you're going to get, right? So yeah. when I told myself we were going to make $100,000, we did it. When I told myself we were going to make $500,000, we did it. You know, when I told myself we're going to make a million dollars, we did it, right? Yep. So All those phone that conversations we had. So, but during that <coughs> time, you know, I'm sorry if we're a little bit everywhere. There's so much in this story that I want to tell you guys. You know, but there's so little time, even if it's like a one hour podcast, you know, I won't be able to tell you something. But let me tell you the point and the person that made me change my mind. So I was balleting at the time. You remember the story? Yep. This is the craziest story ever. I was sponsored. I also skateboarded uh, full time. So during this time, I was valeting in San Francisco. I was in front of this hotel that I valeted at, and I was working. I was tired, and then I see this man. He's a little chunky. He's chunky at the time. He kissed this fine girl. I was like, whoa. She was like, you know, thin. She was all sexy, and I was like, what? She got in the cab, and the cab left. I was like, whoa, who is this guy, you know? And then he stands right next to me. And then I look at him. The back of his shirt, he was wearing a bomber jacket with a dragon and the bottom said diamond. 
I looked at him. Oh my God, it's Nikki Diamond. Everybody knows who this is. Nikki Diamond is the owner of Diamond Supply Co. So yeah, I used to I'm, wear his brand when we, were, when we were skating and stuff. I was very inspired yeah. by Diamond. You know, I wanted to be sponsored by <laughs> Diamond. And I was actually skating for Circle A Skate Shop at the time. Shout out to Bob for sponsoring my dumb ass. But um, I was wearing my Nike SB Janowskis. They're all ripped up and everything. And I just stood there. I don't, when I see famous people, I don't, you know, I don't fanboy and I want to give them their free, like, you know, their free space. So I just stood there and I was just quiet. And Nikki Diamond looked at my shoes. He's like, oh, you skateboard. I was like, yeah, I skate for Circle A Skate Shop. And he's like, oh, Bob. I know Bob. I grew up uh, in San Jose. And then we talked a little bit. We chatted up, you know, and then. I asked him, I was like, hey, Nikki, do you have advice for someone starting a brand? And what he told me was, when you make your hobby your full-time job and you go 100% into it, is the day you're going to get somewhere. He didn't say you're going to become successful or anything. He said you're going to get somewhere. And from that moment, I just knew I had to give up school. School wasn't something I was passionate for. I would get good grades and all that, but I just knew. I dreaded it. And it, he shook my hand. As he shook my hand, his ring on his hand covered in diamonds. Damn, I that's shook his hand right there. And I felt that, dude. I felt it. And he's like, Randy, I wish you the best I wish you the best of luck in life. And he was actually waiting for a cab. But after I told him, like, you know, he said, I wish you the best of luck in life, he just walks down Post Street. I worked right next to the hundreds, by the way, the hotel. He walks down Post Street. And he just, he disappears and I send a Snapchat to all my friends. This was when Snapchat was new, actually. I remember you sending that. Remember? And then everybody was like, what? You saw I Nikki Diamond? Like, and I told everybody the story. And that week, I dropped out of school. Yeah, if I can say one thing, though, I would say thanks to Nikki Diamond for, you know, telling me that and just giving me that confidence. You know? From then, I everything started coming and I start to truly believe in myself more and more. I truly believe that I can do anything, right? So from there, Kevin, Jude, and I started making phone calls every single day. We started planning. You know, it's so easy to say, it's so easy to say, you know, I want to do this, I want to do that. But it's but consistency. Do, yeah. <laughs> Doing it is the hard part. Yeah. So, Especially being consistent, you know? Mm -hmm. And any advice to any of the entrepreneurs out there, consistency is key. If you take one step every single day instead of taking one step every few days. I know. I hope you guys understand the context behind this. Me, me and Randy, like, we call each other every single day since we changed the name to Eliminate. We call in the morning, and then we go back to work. And then even after lunch or during lunch, <clears throat> we, call, we call each other the same day after we have that first phone call already in the morning. And then I think I remember we even called like three times in one day just to talk about Eliminate and how we're going to build it, how we're going to do stuff once I get out the military and how he's doing it right now and then how it's improving, just checking on each other. They're literally daily, hourly, or like whenever something hype pops up or like something... We had to hop on it, right? We hop on it, we talk about it, and we just manifest that you know what i mean we, talk, we we make our plan and then execute it the next day or the same the same day even if uh, randy have the time to do it so it yeah, was consistency for sure is the key from uh, at least my experience and your experience you know what i mean yeah it was very hard i think without that i don't think eliminate would be where it is today because during that time with my parents saying oh you should go back to school you should do this you should do that and you know everybody telling you the same thing Nobody takes you seriously until you've actually done something or, you know, exactly. have anything to show for it. So need that proof. during that time, though, it was, you know, it was very hard because I wasn't sure if, you know, dropping out of school was the right choice or whatnot. And then also, but we had each other. We did have each other. You and know what I mean, that was the motivation and the push that kept me going forward. Whenever, so, you know, our fire slows down, the other just light it up and the other one gets hyped again, and then we're like, yo, we should do this now. And then new ideas keeps popping up, and then next time you know, we're on the roll. And after that, we're just like, yo, we can we can do anything we want. Exactly. As long as we have each other and hype it up, dude. motivate each other. Dude, we can be anything. You know what I mean? We can pretty much accomplish anything we want. And then 
after that, remember you showed me the video of um, who's that other YouTuber guy? About, oh, um, <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, that was, Fousey too. <laughs> yeah. So Fousey, I mean, we took the good stuff, but yeah, not the bad we stuff. we took a lot of the, the good stuff from this video. So maybe some of you guys have seen it, <clears throat> but Fousey too uploaded a video on law of attraction. We watched this video. And we watched a lot of Gary V and everything, and we took all the information that they gave us because the stuff that they are saying is true. It's just a matter of what you make out of it. Exactly. So, you know, the stuff that we're saying use it, here, how you use it, you know I hope I mean? you guys can do the same thing too. We are literally, oh man, I, I kind of took a step back real quick. Like, the everything that happens in your life should motivate you and push you forward. It's what makes you who you are. So, you know, I kind of, it kind of hit me right now. I was a little bit in shock, but what really, really like did it for me and the reason why I work so hard is for my mom and for my dad. My parents came from Vietnam and at one point I was a little shithead. Like in high school, I would complain to my mom and my dad. Like they would buy, my mom and dad would buy me like the cheapest clothes, Gap. Gap wasn't cool back in the day. You know what I mean? So I was so embarrassed walking around that stuff and I would come home and I would yell at my mom like, mom, why would you buy me this stuff? I'm so embarrassed, you know? But a little bit about my mom so you guys at least know the story a little bit more. So my mom moved to America. She never went to school. She never went to school in Vietnam. She was born during the time of the war. So, you know, this one, you know, hits a little at home, you know. This one is a little bit deep for me. So I don't know. I don't want to cry on here, but you know what? Here on this podcast, I want to be as transparent, and I want you guys to learn about who I really am. So, what really did it for me was when my mom just couldn't give me the money to buy all these things, and when I hit eight, when I turned eighteen, I had to take care of Henry and all this stuff. She actually asked me to pay for her bills because she can't read in English. Damn, she eighteen years old. Yeah, she doesn't. She can't read street signs. To get her license, she had to cheat. She didn't take her own license exam or whatever you call it to get her driver's license. So, you know, everything that she has now, you know, it was all luck. So, you know, it's all written exams and stuff, right? There's no way she can pass that. So luckily she did. And I thank God for that every single day. But the moment that changed everything for me was when my mom had me help pay her bills. I had to log on to her bank account, see how much money she had and stuff. And I realized my mom only had like $2,000 in her bank account. And, you know, me working at that time and seeing that I almost had as much money as my mom, it really hit me. Rent in San Jose is not cheap for a one bedroom apartment almost cost two grand. My mom was literally one month away from, you know, us being homeless. So that really hit me. And that's when I started realizing why my mom couldn't give me all these nice things, you know, and that's why I wanted to start eliminate. Because I wanted to create my own. Those of you guys that don't know, we actually started a clothing brand before we ever did YouTube. So YouTube is an amazing platform. YouTube is in, sorry, I'm kind of, you know, getting a little. But YouTube is an amazing platform that really pushed us to the next level. And, you know, this can help you and your business as well. So seeing that, though, made me realize, like, yo, I need to kick shit into gear because my mom has been doing this and she's only had this much money and she's been taking care of me and giving me what I need and what I want this whole entire time. Are you serious? My mom's had all this pressure on her. You guys were like almost literally rock bottom then. Yeah, no, like, dude, if we miss one month's rent, dude, I wouldn't have seen you guys anymore. So that was very important to me. So my biggest goal in life is to really make my parents proud. So... Sorry, I'm about to cry, but like, you know, this is, this is something that I love you guys so much and I love all of my friends and because of Eliminate, this has all happened. So thank you guys. I didn't expect to cry on my first podcast, but you know what? These are tears of joy and I've become somebody else, somebody that I'm really proud of because I didn't know what I wanted to be. So, and I got to meet my fucking best friend. Oh, I just wanted a high five, but Here's a you know what I mean? So, I want you guys to know that you guys can do it too. Like, it just takes hard work, dedication, and some motivation.
<clears throat> Sorry, yeah. I started crying. I kind of, you know, forgot where we <clears throat> left off a bit, but it's that's why big. that's why I said, you know, the things that happen in your life makes you who you are. You know what? Even though my parents are divorced and they're not perfect and all that stuff, I also didn't understand this at the time. In eighth grade, my parents were divorced and I did not understand. I thought life was perfect. We're human, guys. People fall in and out of love all the time. you know. And understanding that is going to make you a better person. And also understanding stuff like that can make you a better business, a businessman. Right? Right. So right. let's move forward. This is, you know enough of the early stages of eliminate now we started our car crew and this was one of the best moments ever man a lot of stuff happened for sure oh yeah so this was we got our first car my s2000 i was making payments on that uh i was the coolest I remember uh, ever this is random but remember when you got that first s2k and then you guys went to a car meet and then kaz saw you with it yeah and then he was so shook that he forgot to um what is that? Uh hit the brake and instead hit the other car. Oh man. And was the car funny. in front was Sunny. This was the first time <laughs> Oh yeah, it was we Sunny. Met oh, Sunny dude, and Kaz. When I heard that story, I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> okay, so this is where we're getting into. This is how Eliminate started. This is how we met Sunny and everything. So I got my S2K. It was probably it was the first day I got my S2000 and I met up with Janiber Janibert, you know, hit up some of his friends, Sonny and Cass. I was still in the military during that time, right? Yes, yeah. you were still in the military. Yeah. And, you know, we pull up to this in and out and then Son and Kaz pulls up, and then Janibert says hi to his son, and Son was like, whoa, yo! And then Kaz sees the S2K, and he doesn't stop in time because he was, you know, checking it out. Boom! Crashes into Son. The best moments of my life started at this point. We got to meet everybody. Sunny has best memories for sure when all to everybody's like together <clears throat> with their cars, you know what I mean? And going to those car meets that like we just go randomly to when car meets was used to be popping, but now car meets is just Yeah. I don't know, it's because it's of all the hot. size shows and all that stuff. If you guys really promote the crap out of that, you know, like I just hope you guys know that, you know, it's really ruining the car scene for people that wanna go out hang out and you know appreciate other builds and just you know hang out in parking lots and just have you know time, having you know? fun Enjoying. with everybody during this time we <clears throat> ew <laughs> <laughs> during this time we met Thomas we met Sonny everybody we met Kevin and this was when a bond was created a new friendship was born and we all pushed each other and we started our YouTube I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Thomas. I know you guys all know and love him. Funniest dude. Funniest dude ever. And I wish the best. Thomas, I love you, brother. I hope you're enjoying the car. But, you know, even buying him that car, I feel like I haven't given him enough yet. So doing YouTube, I want to give everybody a chance and teach them all how to earn their own revenue. Because, you know, what we're doing, everybody else can do it. You guys can do it course if you guys do it correctly right sharing is caring sharing is caring baby i know like a lot of people they want to think only for themselves but if you get to know me as a person like everything that i do is for everybody the warehouse here nobody pays rent for we pay everything i'm gonna yeah. tell you guys we pay almost seven thousand dollars for this place that's one of many things i learned about you for sure mm -hmm. is like you take care of people around you even though you're like, you got stuff that you need to take care of yourself too. You know what I mean? You just you do it for the bigger reason, not just for you, individ individually. <clears throat> so, One thing that I like to say, I really is, appreciate that. Yeah, and you know I appreciate everything that Kevin does too. Kevin agrees with everything, and you know whatever I say, he's like, you know, you're. He's like, yeah, you're right. You know, and you know I will follow you and whatever. I mean, you we always do. work it out, right? Yeah. Every time we have a new things that we need to accomplish or new goals that we need to um achieve we just we just go at it and then accomplish that what so. i like to say is i'd rather wake up in a dirty house full of the people i love than to wake up in a huge house all by myself with nothing to clean up and that's a huge one to me because 
you know, I love hanging out with these guys and I want to see them become successful. So I want to see you guys become successful too. Same. I want everybody mm -hmm. to become successful. You know what I mean? Look at Sonny. Sonny's doing really well. And if they can all get their shit together, I truly believe that they might even be able to surpass us. We're trying to do something completely different. We're just a huge family just trying to, you know, to make it. So success to me is not the dollar value. So that's why I'm going to be talking about how much we make on YouTube soon. I want to tell you guys, literally, you know, if it's profitable for you guys, but success to me is happiness. Before my dream was to have a storefront, I started to realize it's yeah, a new era, it. man. <clears throat> it is different now. Storefronts are dying about out, it, dude. Yeah, we, t we used to talk about it having one and opening one and now we uh changed our mind pretty much dreams change and then i upgraded that dream i my dream was i want people all over the world to rock eliminate and it's happened when your dr dreams or goals are accomplished you one up it or you move on to the next dream and then my dream was to you know what is it make a hundred thousand dollars we've made a hundred thousand dollars and you know it doesn't make me happy so, and then I realized a hundred thousand dollars doesn't make me happy. What's going to make me happy? Boom. It's happiness. You know, I think that is the most important thing to me. I'd rather wake up happy and not have any money. You know, having money is very important. You know, I'm not going to lie to you guys, but I'd rather wake up happy than wake up with a hundred thousand dollars, but be sad and miserable. Right? Yeah, it's, it's uh, I would say, like, everyone's different, you know what I mean? I mean, for me, my happiness is freedom. I, as long as I'm f I'm f I feel free, I feel freedom, I mean, I'm happy. Damn, the military you know I mean? must suck, huh? <laughs> 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 I mean, you can say that. It's not easy there for sure. So, yeah. Uh, I don't really have a, um, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's, my path is very different to you. So it's hard for me to, like, <clears throat> I would say relate to it. But at the same time, we have the same goal that we're trying to get to, which is happiness. Mm -hmm. And as long as you get to that point, however you, what is that, however, whatever method you use or how you get there, you know, do it. That's what I would say. And the way we're doing it right now is just going through, uh, <clears throat> what is this, YouTube videos. We, got, we started our business. And at the end of the day, like you said, you wake up happy, and you're happy. And I wake up free, I'm happy. Exactly. <clears throat> Dude, we have the best job in the world. Like, I know. I'm probably, I'm never going to be tired of, you know, telling you guys thank you. And I hope you guys are ti not tired of hearing it. But I don't think I can thank you guys enough for everything that I've had. Going from, you know living paycheck to paycheck to giving away a car. You guys probably see this money in the background right here, but this is going to one of you. I know to some of the haters out there, it's like, oh, you have nothing to lose doing this giveaway. How about you shut the fuck up and, you know, take a step back and realize we've actually been selling merch this whole time. We haven't given away anything. Now, Nothing has changed. We're still selling merch, but we're giving away a car. You know what I mean? And if we can change one person's life, that would be amazing. So I'm giving away a car that I really care about. I didn't just buy a car just to give it away and make money. It really means a lot to me, and I'm going to be giving it away to somebody. So I hope it can make someone smile one day. You know, I have a whole bunch of other cars that obviously don't make me smile. It's fucking stressful out here, but <laughs> hey, I'm trying my best. You know, I have the coolest job, even if it's stressful. Cause That's pe true. People are stressed Stress is for always no reason. Either, you know? Hell yeah. It just depends on how you're going to take it and how you manifest the energy and use it for, it, for a better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay, we're getting a little bit off topic here, but let's move into what <laughs> I really wanted to talk about. I know a lot of you guys are asking, is youtube profitable you know i kind of want to do youtube you know is this something that i can do full time just want to let you guys know youtube is constantly fluctuating and it's never the same so 
it is definitely profitable if you do it correctly, but selling merch like what we do is you know branching off with other stuff that you can make money of is where it's at. And there we go. That's the businessman talking to you guys. That's not Kevin Jude. Is that Kevin Jude? Is the businessman? <laughs> <laughs> but let's go right into our very first YouTube paycheck. Yeah, this is a funny one. Get ready. I hope you still have some popcorn left. I hope you guys aren't bored. Damn, it's been a long time since you got that first paycheck. Oh, yeah. So we started I mean, our You didn't YouTube. even get it physically. Yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> Let me tell you guys why I didn't get it. So we started our YouTube in September 2016. Oh, man. How man, what is that? Changed. Four years ago? Yeah, almost four. Right? Yeah, yeah, almost four. So my very first YouTube paycheck, 65 cents not dollars cents damn that's small yeah oh but look 65 cents might not mean a lot to you guys but to me i saw money coming in from youtube and i was like i was so excited the accomplishment there right? that's accomplishment right yeah, there. yeah no no so you know? so here's how it went down um i was able to check on adsense i made eight cents and i was like yes it went from eight cents and then the next day i made 25 cents i was like yes you know what i mean and then at the end of it all, we uploaded only one video. The end of the month, it came out to 65 cents. I went to go and redeem this. Your account already has another email associated with this. And I was like, wait, what? I was so confused. I was talking to Kevin. You were just all over the place trying to figure it out. I'm like, yo, what's happening right now? This can't be true, right? <laughs> and, then, and then my little brother walks in. Henry is tiny at the time. He walks in. Oh, Randy, that's my email. <laughs> like, what? Why is your Coming email... Coming from school and stuff with his backpack? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is your email connected to my YouTube? Like, yeah, I, I noticed you weren't... Uh, uh, I, I noticed you, there was no account on it, so I logged on. And I linked my account to it. I was like, what are you doing? This is my YouTube account. Get the hell out of here, you know what I mean? So I got it back. And then... Here's where it's gonna get really crazy. So, are you guys ready for this? He, oh, wrong picture. That was very inappropriate. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It wasn't inappropriate at all. But check this out. Get ready. We went from 65 cents. The next month, we went to 117 dollars. Now that might not seem like a lot, but percentage increase. In revenue, all the businessmen know this. Come on, all you entrepreneurs out there, the percentage of increase, pff, amazing. So, I'm not really that great in math, so I'm not going to calculate this for you guys. But <laughs> Me neither, and we're Asians. Yeah, and we're Asians. I was really good, but I've been out of school for a very long time. But moving forward, that's just the first month. You know, I was like, oh, cool. And, oh, also wanted to say one thing. If you guys are trying to do YouTube and make money, you know, making money should be you know, a thing, but do it and have fun. Do it as a hobby, and if it takes off, then that's how you know it's going to be authentic content and everything because, honestly, I feel like authentic content where you're just having fun is the best content, and that's how you grow much quicker. So let's see. We went from what? We really went from that much to that much? Okay, so you guys thought 65 cents to $117 was crazy. Well, the percentage increase wasn't as much, but we went from $117 to $1,068.79. Almost 10 times as much. Almost. See, I'm pretty good with math, right? Well, you know, and that's just us having fun. And I'm working a full-time job at this time, you know, making seven hundred dollars each paycheck it wasn't that great and then the next month you know just six hundred dollars four hundred dollars four hundred dollars five hundred dollars and that's while i'm working my job but remember kevin this was when i got <coughs> fired <laughs> that was oh funny. man so i used to do valet if you guys didn't know and i let all of the homies park and, you know, they had to let me go because I let them all park for free. And, well, I knew that every time I uploaded a video, I got $100. This was when I started to get smart. 
this was my flight or this was my fight or flight. If I didn't make my monthly payments and if I didn't make my car payments at this time, I would lose everything. I wouldn't be able to drive Henry to school anymore. You know, and yeah, that really made you like it kicked think, me into gear. Yeah, that really made you think of what you really want to do with your life because mm-hmm. that was pretty much like the turning point for you from what I remember. Yeah. <clears throat> and me. I knew that if I made $100 per video and if I uploaded 30 times in a month, if you multiply that, it's $3,000. So I'm actually going to be making more than what I'm making at the valet and double. You know what I mean? I was making 700 each paycheck. Each month was a thousand four hundred, not that much. I literally broke even every single time, and you know, just barely enough money for gas. So at this point, I went savage mode. I uploaded so much the 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 daily vlogs, daily vlogs, baby. But man, quality vlogs. I never upload a video just to upload a video. I hope you know. I hope you guys know that it's not for the money. I can upload every single day and make more money, but that's not the point. It's making really good quality vlogs and something that can make me smile. Because if I can smile and laugh while editing, I know that you guys will watch my videos and also laugh as well. So uh, just a quick tip for anybody doing YouTube and why we're doing so well. Obviously, we can do better. And you know, a good entrepreneur knows and can critique himself and also beat himself up on that. So back to what I was saying. We went from $500 paycheck. Now we hit the Biggest paycheck we've ever had, one thousand four hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Woo! Shout out to Randy God back in the damn, day and Kevin, baby. A lot, bro. Right, that was a lot. That was. I, was I mean, making, to us, that was a lot. I was Shoot. making as much as my valet job, but I was at home having fun. And Facts. here's where it gets serious. We went from a thousand four hundred to three thousand. Two hundred and sixteen dollars, baby. Damn. Like, are you serious? This was money for us at the time, and it keeps going up. Don't worry, just just stay with me. Look, we got to ooh, Kevin. Take a look at that number. See, how much is that? See. So that's how much we made, and then that's the next month. Read them that number. Damn. We got five thousand one hundred twenty nine and twenty eight cents. Boy, Kevin, look at this. Two guys that didn't know what the, I guess we kind of knew what we were doing, but we didn't know where it was heading, to making $5,000 doing what they love, and they're having fun doing it. Now, who doesn't want to do that? Let me ask you guys that. So, and I got fired. I forgot to mention that I got fired at 32,000 subscribers. This was, this was during roller paint job video days, okay? So, um, not yet though, not yet though, because roller paint job video days, it got crazier. So, yeah. we went from <clears throat> 5,000. Next month, you know, we were pretty consistent. We made almost 5,000 again. And then the next month, we slowed down a bit. We made 3,000. Oh, actually, during this time was when we hit 100,000 subscribers. So... Um, around 4,800 was when we hit 100,000 subscribers, and then we got comfortable. I hit my goal that I wanted to hit. You know, um, at this, but let me let me take one step back though. I, I really wanted to say this part. Around 60,000 subscribers, I would wake up every day and I have two grand on top. I wake up the next day, two grand, three grand on top, and it was just so fast. And every single time I went to sleep and I woke up, I opened up my phone. And I checked to see if it disappeared because truly at this time, everything felt like a dream. This was something so new to me, something no one has ever taught me in school. And I was able to have fun and these numbers went up. The money was coming in. It was great. And guess what? Since that day, I've never woken up. I'm still living the dream, baby. So, you know, it's That's pretty crazy. Fun. That's pretty cool to me, waking up every time and, you know. You're still uh, up there living your dream. And to be a part of it with all my friends, and they get to witness all of this too. (coughs) We go to shows, and they're getting pictures. You know what I mean? That's true. So it's not like I'm only the only person getting it, and it's not like Kevin Jude's the only person. Exactly. Literally, when we go to shows, 
everybody gets the same amount of love and it's so insane now we're like a posse of like i don't want to say like famous like you know but we're popping on the internet and it's cool you know you get a little taste of the fame it's nice but don't let it ever get to your head always stay true to yourself and that's stay very humble, important you, know? you to gotta me. stay humble there are a few moments in you know you know our youtube you know career where it kind of did get over to our head but we realized that's not who we wanted to be so we took a step back and you know try to better ourselves so but moving forward though when we hit 100k we got very comfortable and the money kind of dropped so it went from 5000 to 3000 you know ish and then i realized like, yo i'm getting comfortable we got to keep this momentum going dude you know what i mean and we went ham again the most we've ever made $8,538 baby 8 fucking thousand one month and this is before selling any of our merchandise don't don't get us wrong the youtube tax the crap out of us so you know don't be fooled but next month we made seven thousand dollars we next month we made eight thousand dollars and at this point kevin and i we were talking i was like kevin dude we're making enough money i should buy the r32 gtr that's my dream car for those of you guys that don't know. And what did you tell me, Kevin? Oh, sorry. I said, go for it, man. You deserve it. <laughs> and this is exactly what I said to Kevin. I said, Kevin, please don't tell me that. And I said, yes, I'm telling you that. Yeah. And I was like, no, <laughs> dude, if you tell me that, I'm going to really buy one. And he said, you deserve it, bro. Let's do it. So we bought the GTR. And on that month, we made the most we have ever made. Not not ever made. This is where we're going to decide to stop telling you. Because after this month, the apocalypse happened. And YouTube went downhill. It just went downhill for sure. You know, we, we've, made, we've definitely made this amount again. But through harder work and more effort. So read to them that amount. Which one? The very top amount. So this is when we first bought the GTR in December. We got... Fifteen thousand eight hundred seventy-four and seventy-seven cents. That was so insane, and that's five figures. That was almost double the paycheck the month before. How ridiculous is that? So, to anybody trying to do YouTube, yes, it's very profitable, but it comes down to what you do and, and you know, the your views and the content. It's not sure. how many subscribers you get. Like it's you how said, many you gotta be, views. You got to be strategic and then push out content. Like you said, uh, what is that? The caption and the thumbnails are yes. very important. Very, very important. You can have the most interesting video, but your title being sucky or your thumbnail being sucky can ruin the entire thing for you. Yeah, you always talk about it. Like, what's the, you know, you're always trying to look for that best oh. caption and best thumbnail. And it's, it doesn't just come by in, like, 10 minutes or, like, 5 minutes. It always took you longer because, like, you know, you're trying to make sure. It's good. Each video used to take me 7 to 8 hours to edit. And that was crazy. I didn't know. Each video takes me about 2 to 4 hours now. So I hope you guys appreciate, you know, the work we do. So when you guys see an upload every single day, just know that we are going ham. Right? So. Yep. Just remember, guys, we went from $0.65 cents to almost $16,000. It was 15800 right? Yeah. So, somewhere around somewhere there. there. Yeah, sorry. We put the we'll phone around. We'll just away. round it up to 16000 Let's 16, just say 000. 16K, but $0.65 cents to that much, dude. I know you guys can do this. If we can make that much, dude, imagine if you're making four know, grand just, a month. Some people would be happy with there's that. There's really nothing special to us. We're just like same like everyone else, and mm -hmm. then... Except we just, you know, we um, we got our, uh, I would say, we have our dream and then we, just, we just wanted to chase that. You got to be, you got to be smart about it though. Everybody wants to start YouTube now. So you got to ask yourself. Yeah, it's, you it's, can't just hop on YouTube. And it's just for sure competitive to, now. Mm -hmm, exactly. Compared so, to last time. You can't just hop on YouTube and just expect to do car installs and blow up. Remember, we try to get a little creative with what we do. Nobody online is making content like us, right? Come on, who does a roller paint job? 
you. <laughs> Just kidding. But I guess, you know, that's what we really wanted to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed our very first podcast. You guys got to see me cry a little bit. I've never done that before. I was very emotional. I almost cried too. Oh, well, shit. You should have cried with me. Why are you going to make me look like a pussy? Just kidding. But I want to take this time to really thank Kevin for being the best Appreciate partner too, ever. Thank you for always Anything putting me. Anything for you, me. you know what I mean? Yeah, thank you for always putting me and eliminate before yourself. I truly appreciate it. Now it is your time. I promise you, we're getting the NSX. And I mean, we already have it. Mm -hmm. Who do you want to thank? I mean, I maybe just we already <laughs> have it. Don't fucking play them like that. I'm maybe playing, we I'm do playing, them. I'm Might be outside. <laughs> I mean, I just want to uh, say thank you and appreciate every single one that supported us and people around us because without you guys, um, I don't know how to explain this part. I don't know. You guys like, make the fruit taste sweeter. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like that. That's like what that. it is. It just makes it feel that much more special. It, it's, it, yeah, it makes it more special. And then especially when we see you guys in car shows, it just brings up that vibe, that, that good vibe, you know what I mean? That everyone's showing love, supporting each other, and just spreading the spreading that good vibe. You guys and should that's see what I the like. shows. It is crazy. The energy, oh it's my It's up there, y'all. It's dude. up there. By the end of the day, I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired, but it was worth it because, like, everyone showed up with, like, positive energy and just, you know, spread that. Spread that love. That's all I can say, you yeah, know? Hell yeah, man. I hope... I hope uh, any of the homies watching this, too, I want to say I love you guys so much. Thank you for being a part of the family. Thank you for, you know, encouraging me and pushing me to better myself. Because the day that same, I chose to same. better myself, everything changed. Everything started to come. Yeah, everything I, happened for a reason, you know. And mm -hmm. people around you, they just, like, there to make sure, you know. We're all pushing each other yeah, up, you know push I mean? each other and be better and become the best version of yourself. Mm-hmm. And also, I want to give a huge shout out to my girlfriend. I love you so much. Thank you for pushing me to becoming a better person every single day. I know you guys don't see much of her, but she has a lot to do with, you know, how hard I work on these videos, too, because she's pushing me every single day to push these videos out for you guys. And, you know, she doesn't want to date a loser, right? Because YouTube can go downhill any time. That's true. Yeah, That's she's, true. She's going to be a dentist? Dude, what am I going to do? I'm going to upload videos all day? <laughs> Honestly, it is a new generation, so don't be embarrassed about making videos and all that. Honestly, all this old school stuff, all this school, you know, I know school is very important, but don't take this video and go out and drop out of school. Have a plan. That is the most important thing when running a yeah, business. Yeah, we're just showing you guys what we experienced, and then we want to... Uh, show it to you guys that this is an option that you can choose if you, you know, really thought about it and make sure do what you want to do. And Even if you don't reach your goal, at least you can say you tried. And even if you don't make all the money in the world, if you're happier than somebody else, shit, I say you're winning, man. Bless you. Thank you. But you know what? I think that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed our first podcast. Kevin? Thank you for being my very special Thank guest. you. Number, did I say that correctly? I'm sorry. Thank you for being the very first guest on the podcast. Thank you, too. Oh, yeah. Appreciate huh? I'm it. on your podcast. I forgot about that. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to go down, like, comment, subscribe. More podcasts coming soon. But let us know what you want us to talk about. Because... You know, if we, you know, this is kind of fun hopping on and just literally free fucking freestyling it. That's true. Shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next thing, we're going to make a music video. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. You want to make out now? No. A ASMR? <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Oh, that's, oh that's <laughs> Kevin. Whoa. I'm out. I'm out. Wait, the podcast is off. Come on. It's not even recording. Yeah, it's not. Is it still recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got it. Good.